Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk about really important cool property of a topological space. It's when topological sta space is going to be housed. Off. So let's create some topological space X and what I want to do, I want to add an additional property to this topological space which is going to be a Hausdorffness. So what does it mean that the space is Hausdorff? That means literally that if I'm going to take my topological space X and inside the space I'm going to take any random points x and y then for these random points x and y i can find open sets u that contains x and an open set v that contains y such that u intersection v is non empty so in this picture you can see that my open sets uh, don't intersect so in other words we say that x is hausdorff if for any x and y and x uh, there is exists like open set u in v in my topology such that x contains uh, u contains x and v contains y with the properties that u intersection v is empty and let me show you like the more the sim probably the simplest example and the standard example it's going to be a real line with a standard topology so a real line with a standard topology is going to be line r and we know that our topology is going to be generated by basis b which is given by the open intervals A and B, where A is going to be strictly less than B. And then I can see that every time I'm going to choose any points X and Y, I always can find the epsilon uh, neighborhood around uh, X and Y, such then these two neighborhoods U and V. I, I'm, I say like epsilon neighborhood, but you can just like take an open interval about X and Y, so it's basically like the same, such that U and V don't, uh, don't intersect. So that's why you can see, you can do it for every point x and y in my R, uh, so that's why R is going to be uh, a Hausdorff vector uh, topological space. So R uh, uh, with uh, topology standard is Hausdorff. Okay, and let's show me non-example. So non-example is going to be a really interesting set. It's going to be a set that contains just three points. So we're going to have point, let's say, 1, point 2, and point 3. Then let's choose topology for the set and I'm going to choose the following topology. So in my topology I'm going to have uh, of course the empty set and the set itself and the set itself I'm going to just indicate by 1, 2, 3 and also I'm going to include 1, 2, uh, 2, 3 and since I have as an open set 1, 2 and I have the open set 2, 3 remember uh, by the definition of the topology, I'm, al uh, I'm allowed to intersect open sets and their intersection is going to be exactly the uh, open set 2. So I'm going to obtain uh, that 2 is also inside my topology. And then why like that space is, going to, is not going to be Hausdorff? Because for example, let's choose a point 1 and a point 3. And you can see that 1 is contained in the following uh, open sets is 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2. And 3 is contained in the following open sets, uh, also 1, 2, 3, and 2, uh, 3. And the only choices for the open sets for point 1, you have uh, two choices. But if you, you're going to, for example, choose 1, 2, 3, then that u is 1, 2, 3 is going to intersect with any choice for v for your point 3. And the same works for the second uh, open set. If you're going to choose this open set to be u, then u intersecting this set is non empty, and u intersecting this set v is also non empty. So you can see for point 1 and 3, it's impossible to, to find open sets in our topology such that those two open sets are going to, the intersection is going to be non empty. Sorry, the intersection is going to be empty. So that's why this space uh, x is not going to be Hausdorff. And remember, I chose x to be just three points 1, 2, and 3. And that is really interesting that. Uh, a finite set, I mean like a set that consists just of points, is going to be a, uh, a counterexample for a lot of interesting properties uh, like Hausdorffness and next time we're going to show another really interesting property for that set. Uh, not like properties, that the properties that doesn't hold for that set, like that set is going to be counterexample for that cool property. Okay, so yeah, we're done for today. Today we to discuss like how is darkness for topological spaces. I hope that you had fun. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and uh, have a nice day.